The second painting I've chosen is a, is a relatively conventional one in many ways. I mean, it's the kind of painting that could easily be described as impressionist. And as soon as we call it impressionist, we're putting it into certain categories. We're putting it into boxes. We're saying it's like other artists. Um, and it certainly was made by an impressionist artist, but it's made by an artist who's, who for many years was slightly relegated or pushed to the sidelines. But I think when you look at a painting like this, Again, there's a kind of recalibration of what we take to be true. Bert Morisot was a, was a central figure in Impressionism. I mean, she's not, I'm not trying to suggest that she's totally overlooked or totally obscure, but she's not central to the story as it's often told. And I think she should be central to the story. And I think a painting like Girl on a Divan, this painting, which is in the National Gallery from 1885, is a painting that perfectly encapsulates why she should be at the centre of our thoughts. And to me, it's not just because of her incredible skill as a painter. Now, when I say skill as a painter, Bert Morisot's skill as a, as a painter is not to do with precision of making. It's not to do with a photographic relationship to reality. It's to do with being able to manage looking, feeling and sensing at the same time. I think her work is so deeply full of sensory experience of space. You can see a lot of Morisot in the Musée Marmottin in Paris, which is an amazing museum. And what's really notable about Morisot, and you can see it here, is that she's really daring with how much she chooses not to say. People always say that, don't they, when they talk about uh, filmmaking or even writing fiction, it's what you don't say, it's what you leave out that's important. Now, Morisot is a great lever-outer. She knows when to stop, she's got amazing taste. I mean, part, part of it is down to taste, I think. It's like deciding that there's enough, it's enough. She signed this painting, she doesn't need to add any more to it. But it's also, I think, got to do with judgment. It's got to do with Morisot's own judgment as somebody who is a thinking, feeling, making person. I am so excited by this painting because of the way that things become other things in the painting. The top of the woman's head, because of the way she's made it, because of the way the brush strokes fade. Now you could say that's sort of wispiness of hair or something. But to me, it's, it, it's about the way that bodies in space are not separate. Bodies are not separate from the spaces they inhabit. Bodies are in them. Morisot is so brilliant at placing bodies within spaces, not as figures on a stage, but as parts of the atmosphere of the room. Because I feel I can see air in this painting. I feel I can see wind. I feel I can see these things that are not seeable. Because of the way she makes paint behave according to her experience, the sensory experience of space. You look at a painting like this and I see abstract painting. I see, I see Joan Mitchell. You know, I see Willem de Kooning. I mean, I see, I see like much later painting because, because of her total confidence, total mastery. I really feel that this painting is about feeling. 